So we're about to go out on our walk, first walk of the day. Husband's doing my shoelaces because I can't get past this now. You see it? Uh, angles, angles, angles. Yeah, thank you. All right, cool. Let's go. So we're heading out. Um, we've been walking like every day now, isn't it? Yeah, it's like consistently two or three times a day. Let me get your boots on. Yes, please. My bottle of water. So equipped with with some hydration. <laughs> hydration over here. And we're heading out. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are heading out on our walk now. Um, I am one day past my due date. So due date was yesterday. Um, and we're hoping that this baby's just gonna launch out anytime soon. Yep. So this walking is part of our initiative of, <laughs> of a move, you know, of um, what, yeah. can I say? down and out. Eviction so notice. Say, exactly. <laughs> Eviction notice has been well served. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for baby to, to actually acknowledge it. It's in the pile of letters at the moment, <laughs> yeah. in the womb. Um, She's not listening though. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I've been having um, a little bit of pains this morning, but it's just it's super mild. She's praying. She doesn't want to get induced by any means. That's why I feel. Tema hates walking, by the way. Yeah. She literally hates walking. I like seeing things outside, but I don't like walking. Yeah. I like car rides. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in Tema's life, she's all of a sudden a fan of walking every day. Three times a day. For three times an hour a day. walk, three times a day. So it's like three hours of walking, pretty much. Which is a miracle. Yeah. But well, we thank God anyway. Hopefully this stays after the baby comes out. Yeah. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Let's get rid of that tum. <laughs> Hopefully he'll go naturally. Oh and yeah. Then I won't if, have to exercise. Can, if you can hear his all, can you hear that breathing? Mm -mm. <laughs> Usually when we're walking, I can literally be like ten yards away and I can still hear do you know how much effort it takes to carry a whole human being? Yeah, I'll never know. And also move your own body. I'll never know. I'm exactly, sorry. Exactly, you'll never know. So I'm just, sorry. I'm sorry to tell you. Just appreciate all men. You need to appreciate your mothers. Really? Because we try. You're doing a good job, baby. Thank you. Almost done. Almost done. God willing. Nine months in one day. Yeah, ten, ten months pretty much. Whoa, relax. It has been, how long has it been? <laughs> it's not ten months. I feel like it's been, it's been 17 months. It feels like it's been forever. Yeah, no, you've done a good job though. Yeah, just to think that we're going to have like a whole baby. A whole human being house. is going to be, potentially the next time we're doing this walk, we're going to have a baby. Yeah, we'll have a little pram with us or we'll be wearing a small child. That is crazy. Yeah, it's cool. It's a blessing. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's mind blowing. I don't think it's like make Perhaps friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But literally like. <laughs> well, it's cool though. Yeah. So literally running up to the due date, we've been doing the most trying to get <laughs> this baby moving. Um. So raspberry leaf tea went out and bought that. Yep. Pineapple. Um, pineapple. What else? been doing i've been on my knees a lot rather than oh, yeah. um, just sitting down on the sofa yeah. but it's more comfortable anyway because like sitting down sitting down with um with a bump over your legs is really weird like it's really <laughs> uncomfortable at a point um especially with how active baby is i like, just get really uncomfortable so yeah i've been on my knees as we watch netflix oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but then when I went for my last midwife appointment, we actually ended up um, causing a really good result because baby was super, super low, which is exactly what we want um, before heading into labour. So hopefully that makes things quicker, it makes things smoother. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the raspberry leaf tea has softened everything. <laughs> and yes, and prayer is the main thing, the main ingredient. So where we are right now is not too far from my house. This is our usual route but we have another route um, yeah. which goes through the village which is this is better though house. i prefer this because it's more private yeah like it's if more we, intimate if we turn around wow why are we turning way? around we look like we those behind us so this weird. is what tim was trying to do rather than actually us turning around but <laughs> 
because obviously you're turning it around. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a long path. It's kind of like through the woods, but um, it's good that there's this little bit, and then it takes us to like some houses somewhere. We even see like a little farm on the way. We've got like there's got horses, pigs. there's pigs. We saw um, there was a lady who was stroking the pigs, and that's how we noticed there were pigs there, and we were like. Nah. That was weird. <laughs> Some fat, ugly pig as well. God yeah, forgive me, but massive, it um, looks scary. Yeah, they're massive, like intimidating looking pigs. <laughs> yep, and horses. Oh, it was really cute. There's though. usually horses it's on this cute. trail. Like yeah. it's just interesting because mm -hmm. obviously you got to move out the way. Yeah. If not, you get trampled. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's someone riding the horses, not just horses. Um, just moving around. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. But we love this place. Like it's really good to be near countryside, good walks. Um, around here too, yeah. which is quite different from where we used to live, which was in a bigger city. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now that's actually been a blessing because mm -hmm. before the house we lived, even while Summer was pregnant before, there's no chance we could have had all this privacy, like going for a walk. It would have been so difficult because there's so many people, especially with obviously coronavirus and all that as well. The last thing you want is to come in contact with all these people. Mm -hmm. But with this, I don't know if you've noticed, there's been a couple of people that have jugged, but that's the most you get. You get one or two people that yeah. will be jugging or walking. You just have to dodge a little food. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure you move out of the way for the old spear as well. But it's so much better, so much more private, and it's actually what Temwin needs right now, because, mm -hmm. yeah, it makes her want to go out for walks more, because she knows she doesn't have to walk into people or bump into people, so. Yeah, and there's good um, views as well, which is lovely. Yeah. Um, like, we, when we take, when we manage to do a third walk, um, we like to take it in the evening and then the sun is setting and it's so so wonderful near the cornfields yep. this probably sounds like some people's worst nightmare like, <laughs> how would I ever want to live in a place like that but yeah for us it's good especially with um, growing as a family yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good place to do some adventures and discoveries and uh -huh. yeah, just get out and about really so weird though just right now it's like are you okay? Mm -hmm. are you sure? yeah, yeah. she just went like <laughs> <laughs> no, but as I was saying, it's just so weird, like right now, because it's like I'm just trying to get my head up. Because I know usually a lot of people by now they already have their baby, mm. so that's making me even realize how crazy it is, like how close we're getting. Yeah, because now I can just imagine, like, there's gonna be a baby here, yeah, like, it's, it. it's ridiculous, don't mm. you think? Yeah, <sighs> it's really, really wild. But I think, yeah, nothing's gonna hit us like when baby like gets placed on my chest or when you're holding her for the you have to duck me <laughs> yeah yeah or when you're holding her for the first time mm -hmm. it's gonna be like more like whoa okay yeah it's gonna make more sense it's happening ooh, ooh, ooh. are you right Getting a bit of a sensation oh boy is that a contraction kind of like it's just baby's very low like i said all the walking and co have helped baby get super low but um it also presses against my everything <laughs> so it's super uncomfortable at times so yeah oh boy but you're right <laughs> this is why this is why pregnant ladies look like <laughs> I, I, I get it now because it's me are we doing back there doing all right are you sure yeah i'm doing a little off <laughs> is she okay yes yeah, is she moving uh she's taking a nap now oh okay you know what i find cool as well mm. is the fact that although obviously we've gone past our due date like baby if baby's born tomorrow then that's gonna be literally the same day as my dad's birthday yeah oh, so don't you think it's crazy that's crazy it like, was so nice though what a nice gift i know a present off to a grandchild i know it's so that's weird because obviously you don't plan for things like this yeah i bet everyone's just thinking why is he so excited it's yeah. like when it comes to periods like this everything makes you excited <laughs> especially with this lockdown yeah. you have to take the happiness from everything yeah. but yeah this is where we saw the pig I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It looks like nothing. But looks like nothing. Like yeah, they're probably the, they ran away. And then you see the pig. <laughs> yeah, they've gone away today. I think they don't they don't want visitors today. Or maybe they heard us talking negatively about them. They're not so pleased. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Praise and worship leader. Uh -huh. oh. But yeah, no, this work is all, it's always nice because the weather's not necessarily good today, but there's just mm -hmm. something nice and quiet yeah. about it. Like, but generally. Zen around this area. Yeah. 
it's so cool yeah. uh, we tend to pray mm -hmm. have deep conversations Absolutely. yeah it's just cool because it brings us like naturally we don't do things like this but we've actually noticed it helps mm -hmm. like we both get in our in a different kind of element yeah like, it's, like, it's, it's like time to reflect and yeah to, and to just speak to god as a couple yeah like there's something about nature when you come out into nature and um and like you're just talking to god it's like you're around his creation you're you're just like you, there's no pressure yeah that kind of thing that's yeah. how i feel yeah it's refreshing that's what i find because exactly. yeah i'm not a cardio guy i'm not a walking <laughs> or you know whatever but this is just nice it just i don't know how to explain it but it makes you feel a bit lighter mm. and then usually any kind of tension you just release it yeah. you have free conversations mm -hmm. nobody's taking offenses mm -hmm. yeah it's just cool it's pretty cool and i'm liking it so far definitely so marriage tip guys <laughs> walking together walk together especially yeah. when there's pandemic please exactly don't lock yourself at home <laughs> anyway so we'll finish up our walk now guys well hopefully you've been able to get an idea yeah i'm tired of walking and talking at the same time yeah but it's been nice to update you guys and hope you get a bit of a sense of what we've been up to would have loved to do more vlogs and stuff but of course we're not even really up to much yeah. apart from nesting yeah. and um shops aren't open or anything so nope. um actually yeah they are open so we're not yeah, going are, to but we're not going because yeah we safety can't. reasons we have to be careful we don't trust these men okay okay guys thank you government. very much <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> yeah, you'll probably you. yeah, yeah just pray with us because our next vlog will like it to be with the baby because yeah we're past we're past the due date yeah. now we're waiting for little girl we've given her eviction notice so yeah yeah and, yeah we'll update you as soon as we've got anything <laughs> all right mama t you can say bye 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 guys bye guys <laughs>